Hello and welcome to a little After Effects tutorial. Um, on the first note, I'm German, so uh, don't worry too much about my pronunciation. Uh, it can get off a little bit. I hope it's not too bad. I just wanted to show you guys a little fun thing to do. So first of all, we're gonna take a look at what we're gonna be creating today. So this looks pretty nice, right? As you can see, I have this shockwave moving out a little and these few particles in the background. As you can see there a little bit. There they are, pretty nice. And then we'll go into the shockwave composition and take a look at what I've done there. So first of all, I have this shockwave I did with Saber. Uh, it's a free plugin by Video Copilot. You can download it for free for After Effects. And then played around a bit with the settings and made a few keyframes for the glow intensity, core size, core start and core end to move it down. Unlike the horizontal line, uh, vertical line, sorry, I'm dumb. So I can use it for this adjustment layer with which just puts it into a circle it's just polar coordinates um just set it to rectangle to polar and set the interpolation to 100 percent then i layered a second uh, shock wave with a different saber preset and played around with the settings as well to make it spread out more so there is this little stuff going on uh, around the main shockwave and then added uh, another free plugin by Video Copilot. It's called uh, Video Copilot Color Vibrance to change the color just a tiny bit so the both shockwaves are in the same color. Then I went into the shockwave final composition and layered two with each other with a little different timing I think not entirely sure let me look it up uh, yeah just playing a bit with the opacity I think and I'm not sure about what these yeah and the scale is a bit different so played around with that also with the hue so as you can see if I wait, it's not even activated. <laughs> so now you can see, it like creates this little ring inside, which is a little brighter, or at least seems to be, when I activate the different hue. So that's the difference, basically. Nothing else. And then I just put VR dig digital glitch on it. It's a plugin by Immerse Video. And then I played around with the, with these settings as well to sort of create this color glitch existing. It also looks nice without it, but I liked it for this one. So yeah, that's basically what this way of doing it is. Um, usually you would use fractal noise in here to create a shockwave going down but you can also use Saber since it already looks really really nice in terms of um, yeah shock waviness if you know what I mean so yeah go try that out if you are interested and I hope you enjoyed it uh, nothing too special but I thought I'd share it with you mm -hmm. 